Howdy folks, I'm here at Burley House to see if I can still take photographs with this camera from Canon, the S2 IS, in 2019. The Canon S2 is a bridge camera from the mid-2000s. Originally costing £390 in the UK, I picked this one up for £9 on eBay. So here in 2019, how well does it perform? With its tiny 5 megapixel 1 over 2.5 inch sensor, it would seem that in current times it's woefully inadequate. But the S2 embodies something that works well even today, the lens. It's a 36 to 432 millimeter equivalent, a 10 times zoom with a nice bright f2.7 to f3.5 lens which is image stabilised. And it produces some nice images. Like most cameras of its era though, the ISO performance means it's not a camera to use in low light situations, providing a sensitivity of only 50 to 400 ISO. In situations where light is plentiful, that is, outside and on a nice morning as conditions are here, the sensor has enough clarity for sharing on the web without issue, though his Instagram pics don't really need a 40 megapixel plus full frame block of silicon. Sadly the camera doesn't provide RAW files so you're stuck with JPEGs, but as photos out of camera have some nice punchy colours, there's not so much need to retouch them in Lightroom. There are some adjustments in camera to control contrast, sharpness and saturation and there's also a black and white mode which Canon always does well. For the type of photography I mostly practice, autofocus speed and frames per seconds don't really matter a great deal, but sports shooters won't be impressed here. 2.4 frames per second is definitely sluggish, but you can keep the shutter button pressed and it'll shoot until the SD card fills up or the batteries run out. So is the Canon S2 a camera I'm happy to shoot with in 2019? I'd have to say, for the £9 I paid for it, it's worth every penny. It's quite amazing that for the price of a few coffees you can pick up a camera that can produce some quite stunning shots even today. Mm -hmm.